This is the 21st installment of the series Build Your Business into an Asset of Value. An owner-operator works simultaneously in and on his business. I ended the last chapter by proposing that a better way of thinking about building the value of a business is to start the journey by identifying the type of buyer that is most likely to pay a good sum of money for the business. After identifying the ideal buyer, the business owner may then consider what business characteristics will attract the targeted buyer and embark on a mission to build a business into an attractive asset of value. In the following chapters, I consider the nature of the business, the buyer and what business characteristics will be most attractive to potential buyers. I propose six types of potential buyers. Owner operator, angel investors, venture capitalists, sell the business backwards, forward and sideways. First, I consider an owner operator as potential buyer of a business. What distinguishes an owner operator from other potential buyers? What business characteristics is an owner operator looking for in a business? And what type of business is most suited for this type of transaction? The buyer. An owner-operator. Ideally, a prospective owner-operator will have suitable skills gained from experience in a similar industry. An individual willing to invest more than just capital in a business. But an owner-operator working in the business requires an income of sufficient value to sustain their desired lifestyle. Prospective buyers have many choices when it comes to investing for income. A variety of asset classes generate income, including fixed income assets that generate interest income, property that generates rental income, and equities that generate dividend income. Financial institutions offer another alternative in the form of income producing products like a life or living annuity. A potential buyer will consider the income generating potential of the business in relation to the risk of investing in private equity. As explained in chapter 19, an investment in private equity, a business, is seen as high risk. The investor will therefore expect a high rate of return. In chapter 19, I introduced the concept of a risk-free rate of return and suggested that the yield offered by a 10-year government bond is a good proxy. I extrapolated the yield, approximately 9.5% per annum at the time of writing, offered by a 10-year government bond across various asset classes and concluded that a prospective investor will reasonably expect a yield of 20% or more per annum from an investment in private equity. Using operating profit or income as a measure of earnings or income, the investor will calculate the potential yield in relation to the asking price for the business. Please refer to chapter 19 where I discuss the profitability multiplier method of business valuation for an understanding of how operating income is adjusted. Here's an example. Annual operating income, 850,000 Rand. Asking price for the business, 5 million Rand. The annual yield, therefore, is calculated at 17%. In this example, the prospective buyer will seek to negotiate a lower price for the business since a 17% per annum yield falls short of the expectation. 
business characteristics. A potential owner-operator will likely seek a business with a track record of consistent earnings, a slow and steady organic growth strategy appeals to a buyer that seeks a business to generate a predictable income. With limited access to capital, an owner-operator will favor businesses that require little capital investment, which is why the creative and services industries appeal to these buyers. A potential owner-operator wants to buy a machine that works, in essence, to buy time. This type of individual is willing to pay for the time and effort the current owner has invested in the business. More specifically, the efforts of recruiting, training and developing staff together with the work that needed to be done to develop processes and policies. The challenge. The challenge of selling to an individual owner operator is that these individuals often compare the income that may be generated from other asset classes at much lower risk with the income that may be generated from the business. The result is that they are seldom prepared and often unable to pay the asking price for the business. Owner operators often offer a price lower than the asset value of the business. Business owners may be tempted to simply liquidate the business since more capital may be gained from doing so than accepting a fire sale value. But there is an alternative. Sell the business to employees by way of a management buyout. The owner of the business identifies one or more employee or recruits suitable individuals to mentor and train as managers. The objective is to sell the business, usually by way of a loan, to the managers. This can be a very effective means of recruiting and retaining talented individuals. A management buyout can be staggered commencing a few years before the current owner exits the business. The remuneration package of managers may be structured in such a way that the individual managers acquire an ownership stake in the business over time. The current owner may retain an ownership stake in the business even after exit. A management buyout takes time and effort, but the current owner may gain much more money from disposing of his business using this method. The nature of the business. In the introduction to this book, I made the point that the first two prerequisites for a business to become an asset of value is operational and financial independence, where the business develops the internal capacities and financial resources to operate without the continual involvement of the owner. But, alas, the world of business ownership is not black and white. There are many shades of grey. Qualitative rather than quantitative factors distinguish successful businesses in the creative and services industries. The driving force behind many such businesses is an innovative and passionate entrepreneur who shares an appreciation for the type of product or service that customers desire. The customer experience is something you must have a feel for. It takes a hand-on business owner to ensure that patrons at a high-end restaurant have a positive experience. People remember experiences and experiences create expectations. Consequently, businesses in the creative and services industries do best with an owner-operator, but this narrows the scope of finding a suitable buyer. In conclusion, selling to an owner-operator is a good strategy for smaller businesses in the creative and services industries. A great alternative is a management buyout, a strategy that demands greater effort from the current business owner, but a strategy with better financial prospects. In the next chapter, I consider angel 
investor. Thank you for watching. To access the full series, visit Constructum Online Learning on YouTube or click on the link in the post.